my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today is a Bath & Works video. Of course, I love my Bath & Works stuff. It is so fun to film these videos. Just like not even just hauls, but like different types of videos. So that's what today's is. It is a what signs I want Bath & Works to bring us back. Because a couple months ago in August, we had member appreciation week and they asked us like, what scents do you guys want to see back? And these are a bunch of scents that I told them bring back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A couple of these I have and a couple of these I don't have. So I'm going to be inserting some pictures, but basically telling you guys what I want Bath Marks to bring back and we will see if they do that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. If you are new to my channel, I have been collecting Bath Marks since 2016. So a bunch of these scents could be pretty old to you if you're just joining the community, but definitely look them up. Definitely just look up vintage Bath Marks scents. Like, I don't know. I, since I said 2016, I would say like 2014 is when I really like no, not 2014, probably like 2015 where I really knew the collections, but I didn't really shop there. Um, but if you told me a scent, I could probably tell you when it was came out. So that's kind of cool. Trivia, knowledge. Um, but otherwise, yeah, 2016 and beyond, I just like, my like, I know the scents. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Sorry if these scents are kind of old. Some of them aren't, aren't too old, but yeah, I'm just excited because if Bad Marks listens to this video and listens to the poll questions, you know, the answers, I would be so, so happy. So the first one I'm going to start off with is a throwback. Um, I'm actually going to mostly start off with throwbacks and then we'll get in the sense that I actually have. But the first one is Aloha Water for Orchid. It's right here. This came out in the Hawaiian line, which I used to call the Hawaiian line, but it's actually just a tropical line that we always see in May slash, you know, April, I think, you know, springtime. Um, this scent was so good. It was an orchid scent. It was amazing. It was so, so good. I cannot tell you what the scent notes are for the life of me. But it was just like a super sweet floral and we don't see orchid a lot in Beth Marks. So I would love them to bring this scent back. Now the next one is Warm Coconut Blossom. I think this came out in 2018. It is right here. It is actually on Macari or it was on Macari and I almost bought it and I didn't. It is so good. It smells like candy. Love it. Yeah, if they brought that one back, I would totally, totally buy it. The next one is Lavender and Spring Apricot. I know Melissa has talked about this scent before and I just would love to see Beth Marks bring this scent back because we don't really see a lot of apricot scents at all. So this one is really good. It came out in 2016 of spring and it is just a nice, I feel like the lavender is not your basic cleaning lavender. It is a nice lavender mixed with the apricot and it makes it like a warm lavender. I don't know how to explain scents, but I love that scent. So I want them to bring that one back. All right. The next scent is Napa Valley Sunset. I believe this came out in 2015. It is so good. It is similar to a grape scent. I would really, really love grapevine scent to come out from Bath & Works. Just a grapevine scent would be so, so awesome. But this is kind of similar to that and it was really, really good. And I would love to see Bad Marks do it again. So when I filmed this video, it was before I heard about Cotton Candy Grape and the soap coming out. This scent is not like a grapevine scent. It is more of a sugar grape, I would say. I think they added like the grape soda with the cotton candy so it would be a better seller. Um, I'm gonna get a candle for you guys and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when I say grapevine. This Tuscan Grape Vineyard candle from Goose Creek is what I want in body care. The scent notes are grapes, dewy leaves, and berries. Smells exactly like grapevine. Smells amazing. We need it in body care ASAP. Also, Napa Valley was not like these two scents, but it was like its own grape scent. It was amazing. All right, so the next one is Sweet Cranberry Rose. I loved Sweet Cranberry Rose when it came out. It came out in 2016 or 2017. I remember using it a lot in 2017 and it was just such a good scent. Some people compare it to Forever Red, but I personally just don't. I, I, I see it, but I don't see it or I smell it, whatever. It is such a good scent. It is like a nice, sweet cranberry. Like if you added cranberry to maybe you're the one baby maybe um but it has strawberry nectar in you're the one so if you took out that strawberry nectar and added maybe cranberry it'd be a little similar to you're the one i don't know it is so so good except you're the one has rose oh wait but sweet cranberry rose has rose anyway sweet cranberry rose is so good and i wish they brought the scent back out it was like a signature launch during fall and then they totally got rid of it sas come winter so i need them to bring this scent back so badly all right so the rest of these scents are scents that i currently have and I need Bath Marks to bring them back. So when they asked us, what scents do you guys want back? I remember saying this back in August that I want gingerbread latte and I do not know when they start planning Christmas. It could be basically in spring, I have no idea, but they are bringing back gingerbread, like Jolly Gingerbread Village, so that's awesome. This was filmed a while ago, hence why I'm saying Christmas quite often in this video, so just bear that in mind. But I specifically asked for gingerbread latte to be back. And I know we had spice gingerbread swirl back in 2018. And this is from 2020. And then they also had gingerbread latte in 2016, I believe. It is right here. It's also gingerbread latte. It has a little cute bird. I remember having that one. But now they're bringing back Jolly Gingerbread Village. 
I've heard mixed reviews on it so we'll see I think I'm gonna go to the store this coming weekend and maybe I'll see if I like it if there it's even out yet um but I technically wanted this one back but you know what bad marks it's okay you brought the gingerbread scent back it's okay unfortunately Jolly Gingerbread Village was just too woodsy and not like one of these two I wish they would have stuck with one of these two honestly I know a lot of people did like the woodsy scent in it, but it was just not gingerbread at all. So the next one is Coconut Mint Drop. So we saw Coconut Mint Drop similarly to when we saw Gingerbread <laughs> Latte back in 2020. So my theory was, and this could be still true, but my theory was that this came out in 2017, picture right here, 2017, three years later, 2020, three years later is 2023. So if we see this at the end of Christmas time, like maybe it's just a little surprise, we haven't seen it yet. I would be so excited, so excited. Unfortunately, we did not get Coconut Mint Drop this year and that was a letdown. I think that mark should have done the three year mark like I mentioned, but they did not. So hopefully next year we get the scent back in body care. Coconut Mint Drop, this is, I, got, I guess I could tell you guys scent notes, is white coconut, ice, peppermint, and winter musk. I wanted to get this back. It is such a good scent. It is like sweet cinnamon, not sweet cinnamon, but it is like Twisted Peppermint's like long lost sister but just a little bit more coconut and like a little subtle on the mint and it's so good. So I really want Bath Mars to bring this back out. It is so good. We see it in hand soap, I believe, like more often than not. So body care, please, body care. All right, we're just gonna keep going on with this Christmas uh, theme. Uh, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. A lot of people want this back and including me. It is so, I don't know what that glare is, but it is such a good scent. I've used this one. I also have the lotion that I've used. It is so good. We need this back. I think it is such a good blueberry like bakery blueberry this is similar to raspberry jam donut but not exactly this has scent notes of baked blueberry bliss in santa's sweet oh sorry that is the uh, little story it has but fragrance notes are baked blueberry crumbled shortcake and whipped cream i just would love this to come back it is so good i'm probably gonna finish this if not get halfway this christmas so if they could bring this back that'd be awesome all right so the next one is another favorite it is champagne sprinkles i know a lot of people want this back i know leah wants this back i just i've heard a lot of goodness and that'd be awesome if they did this says that notes of sparkling champagne raspberry icing and rainbow sprinkles it is so good like oh my god it's just like raspberry icing and it's so so good 2021 was like a really good year for bad marks like a super good year um so yeah i want them to bring this back bring them back bring it back the next scent is violet lake sky this is a bit of an older one this came out in i believe 2015 and then it got re-released in 2018 for sas um this also had sun and air and those were really good but this one was my favorite um, this has scent notes of, this has a little, since it's old, it has like a little story. Violet Lily Sky is a heavily blend of fresh violet blooms, sparkling bergamot, and pink pepper, floating on a cloud of whipped lily petals and sheer sandalwood. It is really good. It's my favorite date night scent. If you haven't seen my tag down below, I'll tag, I'll tag it down below. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's just a nice violet scent. And I feel like Violet does violet, but like this is such a deep, dark violet that is so, so good. So yeah, this is the... One of my favorite scents from Bad Marks that I would love them to bring back. All right, so the last scent that I would love Bad Marks to bring back is Golden Pear and Brown Sugar. I had this back in 2016, absolutely loved it, flew through it, and then a couple years ago I bought this off of Poshmark, and I haven't usually used it, but it is such a good one. It is, it's fall in a bottle, fall in a bottle. It is so good. They don't have scent notes on this because it is from 2016, um, but it is really good. It's Golden Pear and Brown Sugar. If you are not a big fan of Golden, what is it? Brown sugar and fig, you, it, it's not the same. Gold, uh, brown sugar and fig is definitely more of a soft brown, like, fig scent. This, that pear and brown sugar really makes it a warm fall scent. I would consider brown sugar and fig not really a warm scent, so you might like this. But yeah, Bad Marks, bring this scent back out because it is amazing. All right, so that is my scents that I want Bad Marks to bring back. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, and comment down below what scents you want Bad Marks to bring back out, and what ones that you told them in the little poll they asked us. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more Bad Marks content in the future, and make sure you hit this like button if you enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much. I guess I'll tell you my scents today. It is a thousand wishes. I didn't like my outro, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.